Oh, let's try that. Let's see if it's any better. Here's open. Hopefully you'll find me. Refresh, refresh. Don't see anybody, which is making me a little nervous. But hopefully, there we go. All right, Sherry, thank you. It does make sense that it would totally die right before the actual soap making part. Sherry, we're going to blame it on your eyes just because that's what's easiest for me right now. Thankfully, the tiny details are not terribly important right now. <clears throat> Putting lye and milk and then stirring it. And then adding more lye and then stirring it more. Very exciting. takes a while to get everything melting well. I 
all good now? Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, Sophia. As a reminder for the safety stuff here, never mix lime milk or lye water in a glass container. You cause micro cracks that eventually has lime milk or lye water in it. Also, you never lie that becomes liquid. Um, <clears throat> that's dangerous. Don't do that. Um, either the sugars will crystallize too much and you'll end up with brown soap or orange soap. Um, or you may even, um, you may even just end up scorching the milk and the milk will actually curdle if it gets too hot. So if you go a little bit slowly, then that stops both of those things from happening unless the milk is too warm. And when you're making water soap, please do not add all of the lye to the water at once because it can cause a couple of things to happen. I actually one time intentionally added it all at once just to see what would happen. And it instantly boiled and the, boil, the, the water boiled up over the edges of the container and kind of did a little mushroom thing. Um, so it is unsafe to add all of the lye to water at once because it can cause it to instantly boil. Please don't do that either. Please stay safe, friends. If you're not going to stay safe, please don't do this. Nuclear soap. It was, it, it's, it's pretty shocking to see that happen. Like literally it just like, it boiled over, but it boiled over instantly. Like there was no, no warning. I had enough time to get my hands out of the way. Like the only time that I've had a volcano happen with goat milk soap, it happened slowly enough that I actually was able to put the container that was about to erupt into another container and then get both of those containers out of the house and it erupted outside. Um, so at least with goat milk, you've got a little bit of warning before it does something like a volcano. Whereas with, with water, there was no warning. I had time to literally get my hands out of the way and that was it. If you are not willing to be safe with lye, please just buy melt and pour soap so that you can melt it and add what you want and then pour it into molds. And that is all nice and safe and calm and lean. If you're gonna use lye, you've gotta be careful. And don't believe the BS that people say that if you do hot process, you can use it right away. That's not true. Don't do that. If you use hot process, it just makes you feel like you did more. Is the bowl warm? Yes, the bowl is warm through the gloves. But please note that it's staying this nice yellow color, this creamy yellow color. That's what I want. You don't want it to be orange. And if it's getting too hot, then it does turn orange. And then if it gets really hot, then it actually, the milk actually does curdle. It turns into like little chunks of milk all over the place. But it turns orange first and then it'll curdle. Oh, 
Almost there, just a couple little pieces. I need to break up, melt. And the lye is all dissolved. Blend this a little bit, so it's gonna be a little bit uh, loud for a second. But if you can see, I don't know if you can see, there's some milk solids in there. It's just from the freezing and thawing process. So blending it just blends up and makes it smooth again. Here we go. Let's mix up. Always add the lye milk to the oils, not the other way around. It is not safe to do it the other way around, no matter what anybody tells you. There's a reason that we do it these ways. There's a reason that there's rules. Follow them. Be safe, please. I'll put this here for right now. Mix everything once by hand, and then we pull out the stick blender. Good girl. So don't worry, I'm under, I'm being supervised. I'm not being left alone to my own devices. We'll give this a try. And this is just the plain soap, nothing added for scent color or, or texture, not flavor. So we're not adding anything. We're just gonna go with plain soap. We don't want it to be too thin because if it's too thin, then the lye settles to the bottom. And we don't want that, but this is pretty perfect. And these are the bars of soap that even though they're pretty yellow right now, when they're all done, they'll be just a barely cream color. They're almost pure white. So I'm sorry, I can't, I can't read chat right now. You're too far away. And I can't stop what I'm doing to look. But once I'm done, I'll scroll back through, through and see what you're up to.
someone every now and then make a mistake like that and spill some soap. And because these are perforated trays, the soap falls right through when I spill it, which is always so much fun. It's getting darker outside. I think it's going to rain again. Raven, you need to wait, honey. You need to be patient. I'm not stopping for you. And here comes the rain. The gadget, these are your soaps, by the way. It's one of those beautiful moments when my nose itches and there's nothing I can do about it. It's a good thing that I'm not a surgeon. I would be itching my nose constantly during surgery and that would be a bad thing. <clears throat> my nose knows when I can't itch it.
and as with everything, we try not to waste anything. So even though this won't be a full bar, I still try to get it into a mold. It's better than throwing it away. One batch down. <clears throat> All right, now I can catch up on stuff. Do not eat soap. Who's going to eat soap? I definitely agree that people should not be eating soap. What are you people doing? Oh my. Chaos Minion, I love that, Viara. If you're still lined pants, I think that might count as double pants. <laughs> it depends. <laughs> Jude, you're awesome. Yeah, the dogs are definitely complaining. They wanted bone scented. Rose and lavender for gadget. Aww. Oh, really? These are going in the go bags? Love it. Yeah, that's always, it's just easier to have stuff that's not going to go bad. It's just going to sit there and be fine for years. And literally, this soap will last for years unused. Just let it sit there. It only gets better with time. Emergency chocolate. <laughs> yes. That's how to do it. I'm telling fibs when my nose itches. Oh my gosh, that means I'm lying constantly. My nose always itches. <laughs> we could all take a lesson from Gadget, we could. We could. And nurse just for itching noses. Absolutely. Yeah, you'd have to, you, yeah. If you're in surgery and you need to itch your nose, you either need to have a nurse itch your nose or you need to grab something that is sterile, itch your nose with the sterile thing and then toss the sterile thing out of the field and it gets sterilized again. And yeah, I have, I have been working, I have worked with veterinarians uh, that I was close enough to that when I was assisting them or no, sorry, it wasn't when I was assisting them. It was when I was not assisting them and I was just talking to them because that means that I'm not sterile. I was allowed to itch their nose for them so that they didn't have to cause any trouble with anything else. No, no ass scratching though. No, no ass scratching. <laughs> A nurse for every itch. Absolutely. I love that Viara. You had to clip the, clip the gadget line. That's awesome. So yeah, I do, what was it? Chaos Minion. I need to remember that. Chaos Minion, I love that. 
Okay. <clears throat> Check on temperatures. This is almost all melted. Which is awesome. It's good to go. Next. This one is very, very close, so I think it'll be good to go in a minute. It still needs to cool, but. Are you just bored? Do we need to change things up for you? Raven is a high maintenance dog. batch is ready to go right now but I husband hates it but it's too perfect it is too perfect I think you need to stick with it um I'm gonna leave you for one second and bring the dogs back to the house and give them something to entertain them otherwise Raven's just gonna sit there whining um perpetually so let me go and do that and then I'll come back next batch is ready to go right away and we'll just keep on You all right with that? I'll be back. I won't be long. You're just going to have to sit here and look at soap. Okay. I'll be right back. Hello, madam. Hello, dogs. Oh, hello. Oh, my. Hi. I'm very happy to see you, too. Very, very happy to see you. And this is like the best day ever. This is what's happening. You're dying to go out that badly. Be right back with it this time. Table. Table. All right, are we ready? All right, let's go. Very easy. Thank you. Oh boy. Good
So everybody in the house should be happy. Cappy and Sage headbutting. Kiwi was looking dragon. Bye, Viara. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, no, that is a thing. I I can't believe that that's a thing, but it's a thing. I mean, theoretically, yes. You can take a used bar of soap and rinse it off really well, and technically it's clean. But do you really want to do something like that? Because I don't think so. And Cappy learned the grooming spa skills from Jeremy. It's possible. You definitely, I've seen him do it a couple of times where he, he does that. He also, but he, he also chews on everybody's beards. Anybody that's got a beard, the beard is not safe. He likes to chew on beards. It's not just his mama's beard. They're very bouncy right now. Very bouncy little beasts. All right, let's get the rest of the soap made. Before we do the milk, we need to do the color and scent. Talking and talking. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show this to you, but I'm going to try because it's really cool. Wow, well, I say that. But I'm not cool, so we're going to do this without spilling it on the computer. And it's going to show you. It's a mica, which means that it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. So when I stir it around, it like, it makes cool little patterns. So I'm going to try to show it to you. Yeah, you can kind of see it. See how it looks like a potion. It always makes me feel like I'm making potions. Isn't that cool? I like this work. Here, that's ready to go. Now milk. <clears throat> and this is the milk that earlier I said we were gonna use it later. This is it. Like metallic paint, yeah. Isn't it nifty? I think it's neat. It always makes me smile. So the glue gloves are too sweaty and dry out. So it's pink glove time. And it's also lie time. Are we ready for lie time? Are we ready for this? I think so. I think we got everything. 
We'll just assume that we are. We're good. We're fine. No problem. How much do I need? Number two on the way. I still need the spoon. Splash water just to make things easier. Oh, shoot. Thank you, Caparis. Thank you, thank you. I have forgotten, but I also got lucky those times. It's not something that I want to do. This is a little bit of a slow process, but it's worth it to get the good quality. <clears throat> I was able to do a soap making demonstration one time for a, a couple of middle school classrooms, um, science classes. And that was really, really fun because they, you know, I, I set up a bunch of different things of how, some examples of how adding different ingredients changes the soap batter. Um, stuff that I had learned through the years that does things. Some of it was really predictable and some of it was really unpredictable. And it was really fun to be like, okay, so what do you think is going to happen if I do this? And then we would actually try it out and show it to them. It was really fun hanging out with those kids. And we got to got to mess around a little bit, which is always a good thing in science. And that's why whenever whenever people ask me for custom batches of soap, I always say, I will try it. And we'll see what happens. Because every you know, change one ingredient and, and it can change things completely. You just never know.
Still playing with the washcloth soap bar. The felted soap. Oh, the, yeah, the felted soaps. Um, yeah, I need to get them in the Etsy shop so I can start selling some of them. But yeah, they, they have um, sheep wool wrapped around the outside of them, and yeah, it becomes like a, a face cloth wrapped around a soap bar. So I got to get those in the Etsy shop along with the skim suds and the laundry soap. I'm feeling like Proudfoot would be a good spokesperson for the um, laundry soap because he's among the dirtiest goats out there. I was thinking he'd be the one that I can put on the label for the laundry soap. And then um, Pixie, I put Pixie on the label for the scammer suds. Um, change out um, Norman's photo for probably Sage. And I'm going to rebrand um, all of those labels because the first that bunch of labels, I just put them together quickly. But now that I've got the King Jeremy with the turquoise-ish color, the blue, I really like that look a lot better than what I had. So I need to rework all of those labels. So I might as well rework them and make them updated. Stir to get that to light trace, and then we add our scent and color. This is why I like using these silicone spoons, they really clean things out quite nicely. that in. Unfortunately, that 
fun iridescent sheen that was in the little bowl, it doesn't translate through once it's soaked. It, it doesn't have any shine to it once it's soaked. <laughs> If I want shine, I actually have to add like iridescent powder on the tops or something. But I don't care enough to do that. I'm gonna make some of these in the smaller size. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna make some of these in the smaller size because um, I know that I have a couple of Airbnbs in the area that are gonna be looking for this size soon. I sell these to Airbnbs in a two pack of these little ones. And then um, most soaps the full size bars to guests if they want some of the soap to take home with them. So it's really kind of cool. My soap travels a lot. Every now and then people order them on my website. But most of the time it's the Airbnbs.
really love this part of the job. I love the caring for the goats and I love the soap. I don't like the selling of the soap. I'm not good at sales and I'm not a good marketer. But it's worth it to go through all of that so that I can do this stuff. But this is way more fun. I actually went to a, uh, back in my earlier years, my way earlier years, In my way earlier years, I actually went to a, um, a training, an interview slash training to become a vacuum salesman. Um, and I very quickly learned that I do not have what it takes to be a salesperson. I am just not, I'm not good at that stuff. I will very happily say, sure, I'll make what. Make, or I'll package up whatever you want me to package up. But trying to convince people that they need and want to buy my stuff is something I'm not good at. I kind of need, kind of need my products to speak for themselves on that. And thankfully they do sometimes. But I'm really just, I'm not very good at the marketing stuff. I don't know how to tell people to sell, to buy my stuff. At least not effectively. It's also a very different experience to have this. It's been, you know, 12 years, 11 years that I've been sitting here making soap on my own. I never have anybody, never have any company making soap. So having people to hang out with me while I do this is fun, but very different. <clears throat> it's definitely the number of hours that I have sat in here just making soap is ridiculous. And it's at most I've had the dogs with me.
Yeah, the sales gene, exactly. Yeah. I don't know if you have to have a lot of confidence so much as you just have to have a lot of stick to Like you have to you have to be okay with a lot of people saying no. Yeah, some people love it. Some people love it and do great with it. It's crazy. Oh, did the Well, before they, so making soap, um, before silicone was a thing, what they would do What people would do before silicone was a thing is you make a wooden box like this, but this one is made to have a silicone liner. So I actually have a silicone liner, which makes it easier. But prior to that, you make a wooden box um, and you put, uh, you line it with wax paper and then you make the soap in there. And then when it's time to take the soap out, you grab the wax paper and you just lift it all out. It's much more challenging, get, and then you have to, but I don't like it. So we don't do that. Yep, you can you can make a big slab and then cut it up too. A lot of people use um, baking sheets, like um, not quite cookie sheets, but the baking pans. <laughs> sledgehammer. A sledgehammer would be an option. Yeah, a lot of people use just, um, if you're making it just for yourself and you don't have to worry about the, con you know, keeping it consistent like I do, um, a lot of people um, just will make it in like a baking sheet or even they'll take a, I mean, you can even take like a cardboard box, um, especially like those, those cardboard trays that uh, six packs of soda cans come in, like four or six, six packs of sodas. Take those tr cardboard trays, line it with wax paper, um, and then when you're done, you flip it over and you pull off the cardboard and the wax paper. And then uh, you can actually just use a reg regular cooking knife to cut into the bars that you want. It's just really hard to do that and stay really consistent for packaging and, and weight and all of that stuff. Yeah, yeah, for laundry, you, you, do, you do need to like shred it or something along those lines. Okay, I lost a couple of you for a minute, but you're back. Oh yeah, a potato peeler works really well with soap too. Absolutely. If you've got a smaller piece. Yep. Cheese grater. People do that. Definitely. All right. You ready to keep going? need to find where I put the goats. She had a wringer washer and a rinse tub in her laundry outside. 
she would hang up the clothes on the clothesline. We had to iron the sheets. Oh my gosh. Ugh, ironing sheets. That's horrible. I almost had a ringer. For a while, I actually didn't have a washer and dryer when I first moved into this place. And I washed all of my clothes in a, actually, <laughs> you know, the big um, rectangular metal tub that's outside. It's next to the big black one, tubs that the girls eat out of. That metal bucket uh, or the tub, when I first had it, that was actually in my bathtub. And I washed all of my laundry in that tub, in the bathtub but I didn't iron them afterwards. <laughs> that didn't happen. I just dealt with wrinkles. I didn't care. But yeah, when I finally got a washer and dryer, which was about when Kane come, came along, um, it was just, it, it was enough work for me having to do my own laundry that way. I couldn't add in Kane and stepchild uh, to that workload. It was just, that became too much. So we got a washer dryer and that, I actually had two tubs. They went out um, into the, Goat pastures for hay. The full time job. I can't imagine ironing sheets for a resort. That would just no, 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 no. You will get wrinkled sheets and you will like it, people. But wrinkles don't bother me at all. So I really don't understand the people that are, you know, neat and tidy and pressed all the time because it just, it's not even something that enters into my mind as something to care about. I really just don't care. All right. Do not need you. I do need a small bowl. You need you. The state health department required ironing. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. That is crazy. Um, in case anybody doesn't know about activated charcoal powder, this stuff is awesome, but it is horrible. to deal with. Um, this powder literally sticks to anything and everything. It's, um, I don't even know what to equate it to. It's pretty much like glitter, only it's black and it's not nearly as pretty. Um, it sticks to everything and if you spill it, it's so hard to clear it out. It's a super, super, super fine powder. Um, and yeah, it just, it sticks to everything. Look at that, there's even like a waft of it going up right now. It's already sticking to my finger, like it gets on everything. It's really, really good. It's awesome for your skin. It holds on to scent really well. But if you like drop this and spill it, be completely out of your carpet. So be careful if you're gonna use activated charcoal for anything. And thankfully, it goes a long way. It doesn't take much to color a whole batch of soap. Scent that I use for this one, it's a dupe. I think it's a lush dupe. I think that the lush scent is Twilight Woods. So to get away with the dupe, they call it Twilight in the Woods. And that changes enough so they can legally do it. Lunar dust, really? I didn't know about as far as getting into every nook and cranny, getting everywhere and just impossible to clean it up completely. I didn't know about that. That's pretty kind of cool. That's pretty kind of cool. Thank you, Gadget.
this unfortunately doesn't have the cool swirlies, but it is actually a little bit hard to get it to blend in because it's so fine. It's kind of hard to blend in with the um, scent, which is why I, this alone is the reason that I have the tiny whisks and I use them for everything now, but this was why, because getting this stuff to break up and do the liquid, it doesn't want to. It wants to stay on top and it wants to stay in clumps. So good though, oh my God. I just wanna sniff this soap all day, every day. I think it is truly my favorite scent out of the ones that I make. It's so good. So, so good. And cap rice, before I do anything crazy, this is the one that you want some sleeping goats in it, right? The black soap. So that I don't screw it up and make the wrong soap for you. Yeah, it's like an ultra fine powder, mega fine. Yes, okay. I thought that's what I remembered. I wanted to just verify since you're sitting right here, hanging out with us. All right. Save. We're getting a ton done today, guys. Like this is, these are the days that I'm like, all right, I know how to do my job. I got this down pat. It's gonna be awesome. These are the days that I actually feel like I got my shit together. We're knocking out four by day, back to back to back. Nope. As if I actually know what I'm doing. Gonna mute you again just so you don't have to hear this. That's not a touch. So this will go for next time. which I guess is pretty much exactly how it's supposed to be on summer, it's on, on spring days. You can soak in before 
more rain comes, if it's a flood, then it just, like if it's, if it's a downpour, then it just rolls right off. This way it actually soaks into the ground really nicely. At one point before the pandemic, we blissfully busy, and I would do soaping days like this, but I would do this with six batches of soap, and all of the batches were one and a half to two times the size of what I'm doing today. So I would do six mega batches of soap, like the biggest batches that I can pots is what I would do. And I I do a lineup of six of them just rapid fire like I am today. That was back when I was really busy, had lots of sales. Going out the door on a regular basis. It was wonderful and I loved it. And then COVID hit. And most of my wholesale customers had to close their shops. So having to rebuild from that has been very slow. I mean, a lot of the shops never reopened. A lot of my wholesale shops never reopened. Um, so I'm, I'm basically rebuilding all of that stuff that I had built up over the years. It's a little bit frustrating to have to do. Has anybody looked into, um, I think it's a new thing on Discord, something about um, I can't remember where, something about the, that you're not supposed to show like movies in Discord voice channels, like share movies, watch party type things. Is that an actual thing? I want to try to, yeah, I don't know. That's, that's why I'm asking, dude. I thought I read something about that. Um, it was actually not long after we watched the Ocelot documentary. And like, I was, um, I was going through, um, just playing on Twitch last night, poking through different live feeds. And there was one person that was literally like sitting there. They had themselves in the little corner. They were live 
they had themselves in the little corner box thing, and they were playing Ghostbusters 2. And just everybody watching their stream was watching Ghostbusters 2. Every now and then they would chime in with a comment about it or something. Like, I didn't know that that was allowed. Is that allowed? I think it might be allowed as long as you don't save it as a VOD later. Yeah, dude, I was thinking about the Ocelot time, but also like when we watched an Office episode and we watched some different stuff, um, some different movies in Renault's Discord at one point too. I wanted to do something along those lines, but I don't want to get in trouble if it's not allowed anymore. But I just can't figure out if it is or not. Well, and if not, then I'll just do more research. You've watched movies on Twitch? Or you've watched movies in Discord? I've definitely watched movies in this and I don't I don't understand how it's allowed on Twitch with the DMCA strikes that they do on Renoa if she plays a song for too long. I don't understand how it goes through times. I mean this is just too it was the whole movie from what I could tell. If not the whole movie, it was a good chunk of it. Sipdemore was playing, it was labeled as a watch party. They didn't have, all right, mix in. It's okay if you didn't hear me, Jude. I was just repeating myself. You didn't miss anything important. picked up. Holy cow, the wind is picked up. It's like seriously raining out there now. Downpour!
All right, three goats made. I don't want to miss out on, I don't want to leave any feet behind. We got the air bubbles. It must be perfect. It's not perfect for Capra, so send them back. Tell me to do it again. We're almost done with this one. And then it's just laundry soap to go. And then I'm going to go in the house and probably die for the rest of the day. Well, I've got to, I've got to feed the goats, of course. I'll feed everybody. Everybody will get taken care of. But pretty much I'm not going to do anything else exciting for the rest of the day because this is taking my energy levels to their limit.
So as to not dirty another mold, I'm going to take out the, this is the mold that we put the plain soap in earlier. I'm just gonna use a couple cavities from this one for the rest of this. Just my luck, I got a little tiny bit of black for the plane. There's that right now, while it's still very malleable. Yeah, nobody will know what happened. One more little batch. Because this soap doesn't have the same ingredients as the other ones, I'm swapping out some of the equipment instead of just wiping it down and reusing it like I did before. It's just better, better practice. This is the lye water that we made at the very beginning. Perfect. Love it when that happens. So this, this behaves slightly differently than the goat milk does. It still makes soap though.
different molds of these because the having having the different shapes uh, makes it easier to use for laundry. Thank you. 